Right now, something extraordinary is unfolding above us, something that almost never happens in human history. Astronomers have confirmed that a new object, designated 3I Atlas, is moving through our solar system. And here's the part that makes headlines. This isn't just another comet or asteroid. This is only the third interstellar object ever detected. That means it did not come from our sun, our planets, or even from the icy outer regions where comets usually form. It came from elsewhere, from another star system entirely. The three I in its name tells you exactly that. It's the third interstellar, or I, object ever observed by humanity. The first was Oumuamua in 2017, a strange cigar-shaped body that baffled scientists. The second was Borisov in 2019, a comet that tore across our skies before vanishing back into interstellar space. And now, in 2025, we have 3 I Atlas, a new traveler from the stars. Here's where this one is different. Oumuamua and Borisov came in at sharp angles, cutting across the solar system's orbital plane, in and out in a matter of weeks. But 3 I Atlas? It's sliding almost perfectly along the ecliptic plane. That's the same flat path the Earth, Mars, Jupiter, and every major planet in our solar system follow as they circle the Sun. Which means this interstellar comet isn't just passing by quickly. It's moving right through the heart of our solar system, along the same track the planets travel. And that makes it a much bigger deal. Discovered by the ATLAS telescope network in July of this year, scientists immediately recognized what they were looking at. Its orbit is hyperbolic. In other words, it's not bound to our sun. It came from outside, it will eventually leave, and the speed alone proves the case. Right now, it's tearing across space at nearly 58 kilometers per second. That's more than 130,000 miles per hour. At its closest approach to the sun, what astronomers call perihelion, it will accelerate to an astonishing 68 kilometers per second. For perspective, that's more than twice as fast as Earth orbits the sun. Already, telescopes are watching closely, and the reason is simple. An interstellar comet gives us a rare glimpse of material that formed around another star. It's like having a messenger from a distant solar system drop into ours, carrying a chemical record billions of years old. And this time, it's not racing by on a steep angle. It's going to stay in our line of sight for months, weaving close to Mars, near Venus, and even skimming past Jupiter before heading back out into the galaxy. Only three times in history have we been able to say this. We are watching an object from another star system make its way through ours. And this time, the alignment is so unusual, so precise, that it promises to be the most scientifically valuable interstellar encounter yet. Now that we know what 3I Atlas is, the third interstellar object ever detected, the next question is, where is it going? Its path through our solar system is already mapped, and the route is remarkable. Starting this fall, it will swing close enough to several planets that astronomers are calling it one of the best opportunities we've ever had to study an interstellar visitor. The first key date is October 3rd, 2025. That's when 3I Atlas will make its closest approach to Mars. Now, close in astronomical terms doesn't mean it's brushing against the planet, but by space standards the pass is tight. That proximity could make it visible to Mars orbiting spacecraft, which means probes like MAVEN could have a chance to capture valuable data. It's not every day a comet from another star system glides right past a planet where we already have satellites in position. Just a few weeks later, around October 29th, it reaches what's known as perihelion, its closest approach to the Sun. At that point, it will be about 1.36 astronomical units away, just a little farther than the distance between Earth and the Sun, nestled between Earth's orbit and Mars's. That's also when it will be moving the fastest, nearly 68 kilometers per second, as it slingshots past our star before heading outward again. 
Then, on November 3rd, it passes within about 0.65 astronomical units of Venus. Again, not a collision course, but a notable encounter that puts it in range for observation. The inner solar system doesn't often get this kind of visitor, and certainly not one with an orbit that lines up so cleanly with the planetary plane. By December 19th, 2025, Earth gets its turn. Three I Atlas will swing by at a distance of about 1.8 astronomical units. That's roughly 270 million kilometers away. Far enough that there's no risk, but close enough for our ground-based telescopes to get clear readings of its composition, its coma, and how it interacts with the solar wind as it races away. Finally, in March of 2026, it makes its closest approach to Jupiter just 0.36 astronomical units from the gas giant. For context, that's closer than Earth is to the Sun. This encounter will be crucial. Jupiter's immense gravity has a long history of tugging at comets, reshaping orbits, or even tearing them apart. Astronomers will be watching closely to see if 3I Atlas is influenced in any measurable way. So let's take a step back. In just a few short months, this object will sweep by Mars, graze near Venus, give Earth a good look from a safe distance, and then cut close to Jupiter, all while carrying material that was formed around another star system billions of years ago. It's hard to overstate how rare this is. We aren't just watching a comet. We're watching a piece of another solar system thread its way through ours, planet by planet. So, what exactly is 3I Atlas? At its core, it's an active comet, a small icy body surrounded by a much larger halo of gas and dust called a coma. But this one is special, because everything about it points to a life spent far outside of our solar system. Let's start with its size. The solid nucleus, the heart of the comet, is estimated to be somewhere between 320 meters and about 5.6 kilometers across. On its own, that's not unusual. Plenty of comets we've observed fall into that range. But what sets 3I Atlas apart is what surrounds it. Its coma, that glowing envelope that forms when sunlight heats and vaporizes the comet's ices, is already massive. Measurements from the Hubble Space Telescope suggest the coma could stretch out to almost twice the diameter of Earth. That means while the solid body may be small, the cloud of material around it is gigantic, making it easy to observe as it moves inward. The composition is just as important. Comets are made of some of the oldest material in the universe, frozen water, carbon compounds, and other volatiles that haven't changed much since the time they formed. In this case, scientists believe 3I Atlas could be 7 to 14 billion years old. That's older than our solar system itself. Think about that for a moment. This object may have been orbiting another star long before Earth even existed. Now, it's here, giving us a direct look at material from outside our solar neighborhood. And here's where it gets even more intriguing. Because 3I Atlas is moving almost perfectly along the ecliptic plane, it isn't just passing through quickly and disappearing. It will spend a long time interacting with the solar wind and the magnetic environment around the sun, giving us more time to watch how its coma and tail evolve. That's a sharp contrast with Oumuamua which sped through on a steep angle and left scientists scrambling to study it before it was gone. Telescopes around the world are already tracking it. Hubble is lined up for ultraviolet spectroscopy, looking at how its gases absorb and emit light in that part of the spectrum. The James Webb Space Telescope is preparing to analyze it in infrared, which can reveal the presence of water, carbon dioxide, and organic molecules the basic chemical ingredients for life. Ground-based observatories are measuring its speed, its brightness, and how its coma reacts as it gets closer to the sun. Every new data point is a clue, and every observation gives us a little more insight into what kind of material was floating around other stars billions of years ago. So, to sum it up, 
We have a comet nucleus only a few kilometers wide, but wrapped in a coma the size of a planet. We have a body that formed outside our solar system, carrying material possibly older than the Earth itself. And we have one of the rarest opportunities in astronomy, the chance to study, up close, something that doesn't belong here. So what do we do with all this? We're not just watching a comet drift past. We're standing at the edge of one of the rarest opportunities in modern astronomy. The chance to study material that was born around another star and has been traveling through the galaxy for billions of years. Every major observatory is getting involved. The Hubble Space Telescope will track 3i Atlas in ultraviolet, looking at the faint chemical fingerprints in its coma. The James Webb Space Telescope will turn its powerful infrared instruments on the object both before and after its closest approach, measuring things like water vapor, carbon compounds, and organic molecules. And right here on Earth, observatories across the globe are already collecting spectra, monitoring brightness changes, and mapping its evolving tail as it reacts to the sun. Why does this matter? Because comets are time capsules. They preserve material from the earliest days of a solar system's formation. But this isn't our solar system's comet. This is someone else's. Whatever 3i Atlas is made of, it carries the chemistry of a completely different star system. Studying it may show us how common certain compounds are across the galaxy, how solar systems beyond our own take shape, and maybe even how the building blocks of life are distributed through interstellar space. And there's something else. Events like this remind us that our solar system isn't isolated. We're part of a galaxy full of travelers with objects that cross the void and sometimes pass right through our neighborhood. We've only detected three so far, but astronomers believe there could be countless others, most too small or too faint for us to notice. 3 I Atlas is simply one that got close enough, bright enough, and lucky enough for us to catch. From October through the spring of 2026, this interstellar visitor will sweep past Mars near Venus, in view of Earth, and close by Jupiter, before heading back into the depths of the galaxy. When it does, the data it leaves behind may change how we understand the universe itself. This is not speculation. This is not theory. This is fact. We are living through the passage of only the third interstellar object ever confirmed. And it's giving us a front row seat to a story that started billions of years ago, far beyond the edges of our own sun's domain.